Hey everybody, my name is Antronique and today's video is a version of Cat Cow with the hands elevated. This is part of my Cat Cow series. If you're not familiar with Cat Cow, I have videos about it already. And this is one of my favorite variations because it stretches out your shoulders. It helps improve your posture. It helps stretch your shoulders for downward facing dog, for a handstand, for a bridge. And it's something I do almost every day. All you need to do is get a chair or a couch or something you can elevate your hands on. And I'll show you right now. It's super simple. Uh, instead of doing cat cow like we would do like this with our, you know, with our shoulders over our hands. Instead, we put our hands up on this chair. And a lot of people will do this exercise like this with the hips over the feet without realizing it but it's better you just put your feet further back than you think you need to so that you can allow more space so i'm going to start like this by sticking my butt out and letting my chest go down and my head go through and then from here i'm going to round out by leaving the arms straight and tucking the tailbone slowly to round out one vertebrae at a time until I come up. And then I reverse that process by sticking the butt out and then I just let the chest go through and let the head drop. And I just do this however many times I like maybe half a dozen or a dozen times and at the end of it i like to just stay in this position with the head hanging through make sure the arms are straight and if you want you can elevate the shoulders to cover the ears like you would in a handstand and as you can see this helps increase your thoracic extension which is your ability to bend your upper back backwards which can help with posture. And you could see this line is open between my upper arm and my torso, which is important for increasing the shoulder mobility for a downward facing dog. So you see it's the same concept because a lot of people will do downward dog like, like this because the shoulder angle is tight. But if you do this stretch and you do it daily, it helps to reset your flexibility so that you can always maintain this level of flexibility and it feels amazing. So I'm glad that I'm sharing this with you and I hope you share it with other people. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can see more of me and these kind of things that I will try to continue getting across. Thanks for watching and uh, have a great life.